I'm Jack McCalls, I'm General Manager of Leith Alfa Romeo of Raleigh, and I am just beside myself today with excitement to be with our special guest, Peter Kraus. Peter, if you would, just tell people a little bit about yourself. Well, Jack, thanks a lot. I'm really honored to be here today uh, at one of my favorite places in the world, Virginia International Raceway. And uh, I was a uh, Alfa Romeo mechanic and Alfa Romeo owner, and I've been one for over 40 years. I had the largest independent Alfa Romeo f repair facility between DC and Atlanta for 25 years, and I've been involved with VIR for 22 years. So it's been just spectacular, and uh, it's it's a great day to go out and drive an Alfa Romeo. Absolutely, and what a unique opportunity for us to be here with Mr. VIR himself, Chief Alfisti, with an Alfa Romeo Giulia. He's going to take us out, show us around the track. I, I, I just can't wait. Most tracks are two-dimensional. They go left and they go right. This track is three-dimensional. Not only does it go left and right, but it goes up and down a lot. It also uh, changes elevation in the middle of corners. So grip might not be good going in, but it's good coming out. Here it's good going in, but it's not so good coming out. So all of a sudden, you know, the intimacy in which you familiarize yourself with the topography of the track, where it goes. This is the lowest point on the circuit right here, 370 feet above sea level. The highest point on the circuit is 500 feet above wow. sea level, and it's present at two places on the circuit. So we'll this sure is turn one. Okay. Uh, the older name was the horseshoe, basically because it was just a big 180 degree corner. Oh yeah, oh, nice. Yeah. See, this is good. See, you know, you know when you hit the corners right because it feels right. Mm -hmm. So this is turn two for the kink, entering turn three, NASCAR Ben. And the reason why it's called NASCAR is in the 1966 Trans Am race, Richard Petty, uh, Wendell Scott, and a number of uh, NASCAR circle track drivers were pressed into service driving high horsepower American cars uh, in the Trans Am race here in April of 1966. Well, in practice, Richard Petty, who is a hell of a driver, repeatedly fell off that circuit and ended up in a creek that goes underneath the track between turn three and turn four. And he did it over and over and over again. He did it in the race. and. So that was christened, christened uh, NASCAR Bend because it caught out every one of the NASCAR drivers that went through there. The reason, the reason why was because it was a, a decreasing radius corner. So it sucked them in. They said, well, this is open. I can go faster. I think I can go faster into this. But then as it tightened up, it caught them out and they fishtailed and they kept their foot in the gas, and they tank slapped, and they fell off the circuit and into the creek. We're gonna turn in to NASCAR Bend from the middle of the outside edge of the road. We're gonna touch the inside curb and then align the right side of the car parallel with the right side of the track. This is the second slowest corner on the track, turn four, the entry to the snake, which is the left and right, um, generally known as the flat S's or lower S's. It was christened the snake before the track reopened because this right here is one of turn five is one of the most challenging corners on the circuit because you can't go through it as quick as you approach it. This is an extraordinary turn, South Bend. Uh, spectacular place, very fast. Uh, in my little 150 race, uh, 150 horsepower race car, um, I'm, I'm doing in excess of 103 miles an hour at that. This, oak tree corner named for a tree that used to be on the inside and is now a sapling planted on the outside is the slowest corner on the track leading on to the longest straight which is the back straight turn 11 and oak tree are are a combination of corners that is very difficult because our goal is to go as fast as we can through the first right hander and then control speed so that we get this great launch out of the slow corner onto the back straight and it feels like we've been shot out of a cannon. Wow. And let's go 100 miles an hour today. Okay. And where are your eyes now? 
So I'm looking on the right hand side of the crest and then I'm looking at the worker station on the left. If there was some car having a problem, they would tell me okay. from that worker station. Uh, my goal is to really get the car slowed down as we climb the hill, yeah, make those brakes sing a little bit. Just singing down from 110 miles an hour to about 40 miles an hour. Oh, sliding around. <laughs> Can't quite get the car down to where I want it to because it's raining. So we're coming into, into the beginning of Roller Coaster. And Roller Coaster is the last several corners on the track. Really nice line there, a little bit of slippy slidey. And then we're going through turn 15, one of the few places where you can accelerate and turn the wheel. Now we're coming down into the hardest combination of corners on the track, the left and then the right into hog pen. So now we're gonna put our hand up in the air, indicate to those behind us that we're coming in, mm -hmm. and then enter the pit lane behind the beautiful Stelvio. <laughs> <laughs> well, Peter, that was, that, was, that was amazing. I had just a fantastic time. Um, I mean, I'm, again, the thrill of a lifetime, and in the wet, nonetheless. So we really got to get a feel for the limitations, you know, the limits of the car, and you were able to put it there. We knew we were in good hands, and I, uh, I had a blast. I appreciate that, Jack. I mean, it's always a lot of fun. You and I, uh, uh, we do this for fun. We do this also because it's our livelihood. But, I mean, when those two things intersect, it's a blast. Yeah. And the car is fabulous. Great. I'm glad. To um, you know, I was a little worried when I rolled in, and it was pretty wet, because cars can act strangely sometimes, but you know what? The Alpha gave me a tremendous amount of confidence and every lap was quicker. That's awesome. Well, she, I think she enjoyed it too. <laughs> <laughs> She's warm. <laughs> awesome, well thank you again so much.